So do you guys want to learn how to take crappy photos like these and turn them into insane looking photos like this? If so, stay tuned because today we're going to be going over a few Lightroom hacks that you guys can use to take your photos to the next level. So we're bringing you guys a Lightroom tutorial today. And if this is your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing as it would be greatly appreciated and very much help out my movement. With that being said, I'm Mike Durante, a freelance creative based out of the state of New York, and I don't want to waste any more time. So let's hop right into Lightroom and start this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be using Lightroom Classic, but if you guys are using the regular Lightroom or Photoshop or either of the mobile apps, you guys will still be able to do these tips. In Photoshop, you're gonna find most of the things that we're gonna be doing inside of the camera raw filter. Let's open up Lightroom and start this tutorial. So the first photo we're gonna be editing is a shot of one of my clients inside of the Westchester Mall. And as we look at this original shot, it was shot with very warm lighting and just has a very ugly feel to it. Most people would say, screw this image, it's unsavable, but I'm here to tell you guys that you can actually save it. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is just adjust the crop of this image, and then we're gonna wanna add some basic lighting correction into the shot. A 5-4 crop, and then just fixing up my angle a little bit. So let's just start doing our basic lighting adjustments. Avoid touching the temperature or tint, because we're gonna go back to those after we've finished doing most of the editing. So I'm just gonna add some contrast, bump my shadows a little bit. For now, I'm gonna decrease the highlights and whites, but I do think I'm gonna end up coming back and increasing them later on in the edit. Add a little bit of clarity to the shot and the slightest pinch of texture, and that's basically it for the basic correction. So then we wanna go down into the color section and take out a majority of the colors that we don't like in this image. In this case, it's all the yellows and greens that we see in the shot. So we're gonna to wanna to take those all the way out so that our temperature adjustments will do a lot more. So I'm just gonna move right over to the saturation window in HLS and just really take away my greens and my yellows. I went somewhere around 90. You could take them all the way out. You can only do 75. It's all about what you think looks right. I'm not gonna worry about the luminance or hue settings just because I'm gonna come back to that after I've made the image's overall adjustment. I'm only really gonna take out those colors right now and then we're gonna go back to the HSL window after we've made our temperature adjustment. So let's scroll back up to the basic corrections window and hover over the temperature adjustment. Then using your down arrow, you're just gonna wanna slowly introduce some blue to the image until your shot ends up with a very white, white balance. So as I go, I start to really see some white coming into the shot. And then once you see it start to get teal, just start going back ever so slightly. In this specific image, I found that somewhere around 3300 was right where I wanted it. But like I said, it's gonna all vary based off the image you're using. So now that I've made my temperature adjustment and we have this white looking image, I'm gonna wanna go back into the lighting and HSL secondary sections and just make some fine tuning adjustments. So let's just blast our highlights a little bit more and also our whites just to make the image pop and then I wanna head down into luminance and increase the values of my yellow and a little bit of the oranges just to increase the brightness of the skin tones. And then since my client is wearing a red shirt in this image, I also wanna add some luminance to the shirt just to make it pop a little more. Honestly speaking, that's basically it for this edit where we take a warm image and turn it more into a cool image. Now that we've done all the fine adjusting, I'm going to want to go back and do my final steps on any image I'm editing and do some spot focusing as well as adding my sharpening and luminance reduction. As we toggle between the before and after, it looks like these images were taken in two completely different locations. It's kind of wild what some temperature adjusting can do to an image without actually turning it into a very blue image. So for one last time this was the before and then this is what we were able to turn that image into pretty next level right so temperature adjustments are a really powerful thing when basing your edit around it. And I showed you guys an example where we were taking a yellow warm image and turning it into a cool white image. So now let's see if we could do the opposite and take a little bit of a cooler image and turn it into a warm image. So to do that, I have this image here. And just to show you guys what the original final edit looked like, this is what we had. And then this is what we started with. So let's see what we can do. I'm just going to take this image and reset all the editing I did to it and then do the same thing I did in the first image. And I'm gonna start this edit by adjusting the crop of my image and then going in and doing a basic lighting correction adjustment. So I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast, increase my shadows, 
blast my blacks a little bit. And then I'm also going to decrease my highlights and whites while adding a slight bit of clarity and a decent amount of dehaze. So in this edit, we're gonna do a little bit more in terms of color editing because we have colors like greens, blues, teals that are all in the image that are gonna impact turning it into a warm colored image. So let's just go to our hue section and we're gonna to wanna to turn our yellows a little bit more towards the orange spectrum. And then take your greens and blast them 100% towards the yellow. And then once you've done your little hue adjustments, you're gonna to wanna to go into saturation and just blast down the saturation of the greens, the yellows, just a little bit, because we're gonna add a lot of that color back through our temperature adjustments. And then I just wanna add a little bit of orange to the image and then add some luminance to our oranges. In the saturation section, also make sure to take your blues out of the image. This is going to be vital for making it turn into a warmer image at a much more quality rate. So now that we've done our basic lighting and color adjustments, now it's time to turn this into a warm image. So now that we've taken most of our colors out and made our necessary adjustments, we're gonna to wanna to scroll back up to the temperature adjustments and click up on our arrow so we could start introducing some warmth into the image. And you're gonna wanna go until you notice that the skin tones are starting to look a little bit too warm. It may not be the exact amount of warmth that you want in the image, but just wait because we're gonna go a step further and make this even more of a warm image. So some people could stop here. They could toggle between the before and after and say, wow, this is an insane image. It went from being in the middle of summer to looking like a fall photo, but I wanna take it one step further. I just want to add a little bit more orange and punch and really sell that sunsetty vibe. So let's scroll down to our split toning section. And what you want to do is just add some orange to your highlights. And then you want to take the saturation and bring it down to somewhere like 25. And then you want to add the balance much more towards the shadows so that it's only showing up in the highlighted areas of the image. If you go full highlight, it's going to add a lot of color to the face and we don't really want that. So somewhere around negative 40 to negative 20 is going to be anywhere in the range that you want it. But you also have to play around with it. You have to see what you think looks the best. And as I toggle on and off this adjustment, it really does make a huge difference to the image. So now I just wanna add some of my final adjusting steps by adding some sharpening and luminance reduction. Since I don't want people's eyes to just be on the subject and I still want the background as a little bit of the subject of the photo, I'm not gonna add any spot focusing, but instead just add a little bit of vignette to the image and feather it out. And with that, we toggle between the before and after, and man, yet again, did the temperature adjustments take this image to the next level. But that's basically it for my breakdown of some Lightroom hacks and how I use temperature adjustments to take my images to the next level. Before I go, I just wanna leave you guys with a couple more examples of what we can do with this editing technique. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed watching it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as any of those actions would greatly help me out in so many different ways. And with that being said, I'm Mike Durante, and I will see you guys in the next video.